What is the creepiest glitch in the matrix you've experienced? Me and my friend were at a Chinese restaurant, and we ordered a general so chicken dinner and a shrimp lo mein dish. When we sat down we took out both boxes and set them on the table about 2 feet apart. My friend opens the first box and we see a shrimp lo mein dish. It has all the things in there, noodles, shrimp, fried rice. He closes the box and opens the other box. Inside that box is another shrimp lo mein dish. Shrimp, noodles, fried rice. Oh I think, they must have mixed the order. I was just about to say this when my friend says out loud looks like they made a mistake and gave us two. As he opens up the first box again. Inside of it is a general so chicken dinner order. General so chicken, white rice, and an egg roll. He froze and looked at me. I looked back at him, and we sat in silence. It took us 5 or so minutes to collect ourselves. I have no idea what the frick happened. These are my favorites. The slightly off, everyday glitches. Not creepy, but so vivid and distinct that I still think about it. Years later, I had a, subjectively, long, involved dream where I was a vendor in a fish market. I remember getting up early, dressing, doing a whole morning routine, going to get tea, heading out to the docks, buying fish, loading them in a cart and going to get ice, then haggling for ice, buying some less fresh fish while I was at it, then going to a market to my stall, setting up and selling fish all day. It was so real, I talked to friends, smoked nasty cigarettes, haggled customers, ate lunch, had tea and just lived through the day. At the end of the day, I cleaned up, counted my cash, paid the stall rent, went home, cooked some of the fish I hadn't sold, sling with some veggies and rice that I'd traded for, I drank more tea, relaxed for a while, then drew a hot bath, soaked and smoked some more cigs, then went to bed. The next morning, I woke up refreshed, ready to go down to the docks to buy fresh catch, except I was in my house, next to my wife, truck parked outside and it was Saturday, no work, my wife and I were getting geared up to go skiing in Oregon and the car was already packed, weird thing was, in the dream, I was single, and a smoker, I'm not, and the whole long dream had been in fluent Chinese, the effortless kind of fluency that only comes from a lifetime of speaking it, oh, and I had been Chinese, I'm a big, hairy white dude, somewhat fluent in Spanish and I know a little bit of Russian, but I've never, it was just weird, I've never worked in a fish market, I wonder who I was, I wonder what that was. Meanwhile in China, a Chinese fish vendor woke up after having a dream about him being a big, hairy white dude with a wife and a truck haha. <laughs> I knew my uncle had died, my mom had called me and told me the news, it was very sad, she told me in the middle of work and I told one of my co-workers, he expressed his condolences on my loss, a couple weeks later, my sister mentioned my aunt and uncle doing something, I said but, he's dead, and my sister said no, he wasn't, I called my mom, no, he wasn't dead, to this day I'm still not sure how much of it my brain imagined and how much was real, did I really talk to my co-worker, was I even on the phone with my mom at all that day, it still freaks me out knowing that my mind could fabricate so complete and real a memory like that. I've had a couple of dreams which have been so vivid, I swore they were real, it might be this. This happened to my dad so it's not exactly a personal story. Anyway, my dad was driving down a long lonely highway in Ohio doing about 90 in his Z28 with a radar detector. Rolling hills and whatnot meant that cops could hide at the bottom before you could see them and slow down. So, all of a sudden, his radar detector starts blaring and he slams on the brakes. Right over the hill, there's a squad car running radar. He's super relieved, but when he looks at the detector, it's not even on the windshield. It was unplugged and in the glove compartment. What the frick? Posted this in a previous sub a while back but I'll post it again as it fits here too. I had just turned 22 and my parents had sold their house and purchased a place out in the country. On the property there was a big shed not far from the house that I decided to turn into my place. Now I felt kind of uncomfortable in the shed sometimes but my dog kept me company so it wasn't so bad. 
Anyway I had been in there maybe 2 weeks and one night I'm on the computer. My dog asleep at my feet and I need to pee so I get up and go outside to pee. It's a beautiful clear night and the stars were incredible. Next thing I hear the shed door slam behind me. I turn immediately and try to open it but it won't budge. Now from inside the shed I can hear my dog start to growl. Quietly at first then louder. Now he's barking and I'm panicking trying to get the door open. I must mention that I'm 6 foot 5 and well built. Play sports etc but even ramming my full weight into the door won't open it and I'm really panicking now as my dog's barks turned into whines. Then whimpering. Then silence and with all my might I slam into the door and it flies open. The light is off inside now and it's pitch black. It won't turn back on and I'm in complete darkness. Can't see my dog anywhere and I stumble around trying to find a torch. Finally I find it and pick it up and turn on my torch and I wasn't prepared for what I'd see next. My dog had literally squashed itself into the furthest, darkest corner of the room. Eyes closed and is shaking violently. I immediately moved towards him and as soon as I got within reach of him, he leapt at me into my arms and wouldn't move. I picked him up and I swear I've never ran so fast in my god dang life. I never stepped foot in that shed ever again and my dog wouldn't even go near that part of the property. I don't know what happened in that shed that night but I'll never forget it. This isn't a glitch in the matrix. This is a straight up demonic story. Holy crap. I was sitting in my car with just my dad and I distinctly heard my sister, who was at home, say, are you guys almost home? I'm scared in a very specific, concerned tone of voice. Two seconds later, my dad's phone rings. Guess who's on the line? My sister. She said, are you guys almost home? I'm scared in the same concerned tone of voice. I was pretty freaked out. Something like this happened to me too. I was in the basement with my girlfriend and had a vision of my sister coming down and asking me for the phone. In doing so she caught me getting a little too snuggly with my gf. After this little vision, I instantly jumped up grabbed my phone and ran to the stairs and there was my sister, just about to come and ask me for the house phone. I was catching a sky train in one particular city about 15 minutes from where I get off. While I wait there is a woman with glazed eyes asking people for money. She came up to me, stopped briefly, and asked excuse me, could you spare some money? My brother is in the hospital and I'd like some money to buy him some flowers. That's rich I thought. Drug addicts are getting more and more obvious with their lines. Here's five dollars. Gave it to her without even looking her in the face. Convinced of her intentions. Anyways, my train pulls up and I get on. I look through the glass at her walking around asking others for money as the train pulls away. The train arrives at the station 15 minutes later, and I walk down and out to the bus stop. There is only one bus the direction I'm going, and just my luck. It is there waiting when I get off the train. So on the bus I hop and wait for the bus driver to finish reading his paper before the doors close and we embark down the highway. About 5-10 minutes traveling, the driver pulls over for a routine stop. The doors open, and to my complete astonishment the woman from the Skytrain walks into the bus. A dozen roses in hand. She looks me right in the eyes as she walks past to take her seat. How in the blue heck did she get there? I took the train before her. I watched her at the train stop from inside as we pulled away. I went over a river. I caught the first and only bus going this particular direction. And not only did she beat me there, she had time to go to a store and buy a dozen roses. To this day I have no idea how this happened. You met God and passed the test. When I was a teenager I had two really intense dreams one night. The first one was about an online friend of mine calling me to say she'd broken up with her boyfriend, and I sang a few lines of seals don't cry to her over the phone. The second dream was finding a real life, friend dead body floating in her bathtub. I didn't think anything of it up until I logged online that evening and the online friend came online to tell me her boyfriend broke up with her. I immediately asked if I could call her, and she said no. I remember thinking that it meant something, like I could change it. Not long after, my phone rang, and it was real life friend from the dream calling me. I was completely freaked at this point, but talked to her normally. She was just talking about school and crap. Up until I realized I heard a splash in the background. I asked her, are you in the tub and when she said yes I felt like my heart had stopped. I asked her, what did you do? She didn't answer me right away, and then after a very long pause she told me she'd taken an entire bottle of pills and chased it with mushrooms and vodka. 
She'd gotten scared waiting for it to hit her. So she called me so she'd hear someone's voice. I hung up and called 911. By the time they got there she was unconscious, but alive. Today she's a mom to a beautiful little girl, and she's okay. What? The fuck? One morning when I was 15 my dad looked tired and stressed. I asked him what was up. He said he had an awfully realistic dream of me killing myself. Said in the dream he came into my room to find me hanging from my neck in the closet. It bothered him so bad that he actually came and checked on me while I was asleep. Not too big of a deal but not cool as I thought. 20 minutes later my sis comes into the room. Fresh from waking up. She looks at me and first thing she said was dang grass I had a weird dream. I came in your room and you had shot yourself in the head. It was messed up. I told her that dad had a dream about me killing myself last night too. And had him explain it to her. We just kinda sat there in an unnerving silence. I've never been suicidal but that freaked the whole fam damnly out. I hope you enjoyed the glitchy video. You can leave a like or comment and YouTube will show this video to more people. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I post new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.